Svantna Pina is to be greetings to brothers and sisters. This is your brother Wendem Yadi. Gracias de nos preferir. It's not easy for I and I. Um, one of our illustrious and honorable Rastafari brethren, Ross E.S.P. McPherson, has, has gone to his rest, returned in spirit and in truth to the triune God, to the I and I Father. His transition has passed on the world, would say, dead and die, but I and I, as a Rastafari, we know that for the faithful and the true and the King of Kings and his Christ and those of I and I in the new name of Rastafari, that there is no death that we learn, even in the fifth of the guest, as we seem to have had to do quite frequently to refer to the Kippur and the guest because we're seeing the passing of many of I and I elders. And this particular elder, Ross E.S.D. McPherson, um, Ross Everton McPherson, you know, getting the, the, the message and the next brother in had actually let I and I know he has, he passed on on the 6th of uh, July. Um, 2012, and that was the Friday, the, the Friday that just passed, in Harlem, New York City. We have a couple of vids, actually, I think, from the brother Sarnetta that we would like to um, upload to this channel so that those who don't know, those of maybe the younger Rastafari, might have heard the name, but really do not know of his work. And it's his work that his labor of love for I and I. This is a brother who some would say was ahead of his time because many of us right now speaking about issues of sovereignty, speaking about issues of name and nationality, and speaking of the real geopolitical reality of Ethiopia will be indebted to the works of Ross Everton McPherson, Ross ESP McPherson, and for one who knew him, who got to make his, his acquaintance, and we find this to be really an honor. And, I know it's not sorrowing, and this is not grief, because we know in the faith of the King of Kings that Shua HaMashiach, you know, he took I and I sorrow with those stripes and, and I and I grief so we can enjoy. And this is, we weep because, of course, you, you miss your loved ones. And this particular brother, I can't even. You know, the words don't really even even describe just to think that some of I and I brothers are almost, to a large extent, almost like the unknown. During their lifetimes, but the good thing about I and I's Rastafari is that I and I are growing. Rastafari is growing and we're not the 20th century Rastafari, but we are we are the 21st century Rastafari. This is a new, a new generation and we've been preaching much about the whole 40 years. And you can see on the dry erase board is, uh, is the Torah portion number 39. The brother he passed early in the morning he said that had a heart attack. Um, his age and all of that. We know that he's he, he's, he's one of our and elders, and whatever his physical age, his 
spiritual age and his maturity because this is a brother whose works we really need to look into and those brothers and sisters who've been following I and I um, reasonings on supernity and um, on those issues of nationality which is all the aspects of of preserving our birthright and living within the covenant and, and making this spiritual reality a, a, a real reality in other words establishing the kingdom of the king of kings and his Christ and this brother maybe some would say it was too political you know, maybe ones would say it was too academic maybe ones would say it was too intellectual but maybe that generation did not recognize it but this generation and future generations should make note of Ross ESP right there. So there's a lot of if I can go through like an anecdotal tale or something that even I can recall many I can recall almost the first time I and I meeting the brother almost it seems like almost twenty years ago. And the last time or so that we reasoned You know, and he said, um, my brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm just, just, just bearing this message and, and just trying to remind the generation of Rastafari who might have not heard anything of his brother. If we did a little Google search, and he, his name comes up, Ross ESP McPherson. Please, if possible, um, get some of his books, his, his, his lectures, his documentation written in fact on I and I um, website, the Lion of Judah Society, LOJ Society website. We just put a new um, uh, like a carousel of some of his books. And one thing about this brother, as long as we knew him, he was publishing. In fact, one of the first times going to the Ethiopian Embassy and meeting with the Ethiopian consul. I mean, you just imagine a group of Rastafari brethren, and I being a younger one amongst them, sitting down with the Ethiopian ambassador, presenting a document that Rastafari has written, and, and it's the brother who did the research, but he included all of us in that. He founded the Ethiopia Jamaica Society um, and the Ethiopia National Front, which is an organization that I and another brother in the Pioneers, Ross Amlak, now known as Nicholas Amlak, and if uh, the intel and information serves I not correctly, he's presently in Ethiopia and. Um, Maybe he has gotten this news. Maybe he will get this news. And if you see this bid, excuse some of my emotionality right here. But I said it's not sorrow. There's nothing to be sorrowful. It's not. It's not grief. But I and I weep because we miss I and I beloved one. And we see that he gave his life to to, to give I and I a testimony, which maybe a generation. That 40 year generation didn't recognize. He, in a sense, was on the issue of sovereignty of I and I and, and bridging that gap between the Ethiopians at home and those of us abroad and building on that foundation of his majesty. Some might call it political, but we have to understand that unless these policies change, nothing about I and I's situation as a diaspora once lost but now found people who change and that brother understood that and um, we just give thanks for his life and his, and his works and his remembrance to I and I and there's a couple of things like I said that we found for those of you who do not know whom Ross ES, ESP McPherson, Ross Everton McPherson is watch a couple of these clips 
um, and credit for these clips, Sai Manta. Um, you know Sai Manta, those of you who are into the, the roots and the, and the reality, the black consciousness videos. You know Brother Sai Manta, he's interviewing um, Rossius T. McPherson, I think, circa uh, 2011. And to order some of his books, you might be able to research, search him on the Google, and I think there's a PDF. Um, Ross, E-S-T, all as one, Mac, Pearson, P-H-E-R-S-O-N. May Jah, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christos, have mercy on I and I, brothers. Well, last.